bouquets, the rotting gift with flies on it. Okay, I'm heading out for ladies' night. There's a casserole in the refrigerator. I'll be home at 11. Hey, Lois? Yeah? How would you find out the name of the actual actress who plays the AT&T chick? I left. Okay. How many would you like to return? Yeah. Just send them here. Care of Mr. Butterworth. Yes. I received all your letters, and I do like your mustache. Oh, I've been doing all your arm exercises. Thank you, but those won't work on your fat arms. How do you know my arms are fat? I deliberately left them out of... It's hottest hits, and we'll give you $500 if you can sing Britney Spears' I'm Not a Girl, Not Yet a Woman. You've got 10 seconds to... I'm not a girl, <laughs> not yet a woman. All I need is time. Oh, but you have to... Hello? How'd you get this number? Don't you ever call here again. What the hell? He just got mad and hung up. He what? Why? I don't know. He sounded weird. Like when he was an NFL announcer and had to... Anything interesting happen tonight? Yep, I finally peed that chunk of poo off the side of the bowl. You know the one you've been yelling at me about? Nobody called or anything? Nope. So, hey, uh, are you tipsy enough to let me have lazy Tony Soprano sex? an illegitimate child? I don't know, but something's going on because I'm telling you, he lied right to my face. Sometimes friends put wine out for each other. I just don't understand it. I mean, we don't keep secrets in this house. We didn't even keep the pop secret secret. And his son. Watch. <coughs> and that's where we get the expression, gay as a bag of popcorn. All right, I'll see you later. What? Where are you going? Laser tag orientation. Brian Griffin? Happy birthday, buddy. Before we got married, I was a little short of cash. What, to buy our rings? No, I wanted to pay for dial-up modem impression classes, see? But I don't understand. Why did you come here today? Because that call last night gave me a scare. I figured if I do have a kid out there, I want to make sure they're not giving out my information. They're not supposed to. I signed a form. Hold on, Peter. I'm sorry I tricked you. Wherever a father weighs less than his daughter, I'll be there. Wherever someone has a banner for a football team as a curtain, I'll be there. Wherever there's a fight in a Waffle House, I'll be there. Now go. People need a crap. Yeah, I hope you don't mind the drop-in, but the, uh, the sperm bank said it was okay to contact you. Ah, I guess, I guess I just didn't expect this so soon. Well, we were all pretty excited to meet you. What do you mean, we? Peter, how many times were you a sperm donor? Well, only once, but I had just seen Uma Thurman in Beautiful Girls, so it was kind of a kablamo. You ever seen those videos where they put Mentos in Diet Coke? Uh, listen... <laughs> I've never felt proud. Wow, you look exactly like me. Yes, I'm not actually part of sperm donation thing. I'm your secret clone. We have been orphaned black, and you soon will be dead. No, they're too much work. But I'll take care of it, I promise. You always say that, and I'm the one who ends up feeding them and walking them and doing all the cleanup. Excuse me, I'm a candidate for a doctorate in classics at Wesleyan. It talks! Lewis, it talks! Peter, when I first met him. Well, I'm guessing you look exactly the same, too. You're in such great shape. Well, I do have tiny blue weights in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> me a reason to get dressed today. Oh, would you uh, like to join us? That didn't sound like a real invitation. See, this is why no one ever wants to f*** you. <laughs> Starving. Can't it be both? Going to the movies. By the way, Dwarf Peter died. I didn't know what he ate, so I gave him nothing. His name was Tyler. He had a name. Everything you say, you say with pride. I like that about you. Anyway, where's Larry? Maybe he wants to go to the movie. Him. I told him it could never happen again, and that... <clears throat> what are you doing? Oh, I, th I thought... Uh...
was kind of like, I'm open for business. No, uh, I'm confiding in a friend. Oh, you're the safe friend. Look, I... Okay, all right, the doctor is in. Come on, back it up over here. Somebody's got a neck massage coming. All right, there. Okay, but let's keep this friendly. You can choke me for just a second. You know, maybe I should just go ahead and do your whole back. Yeah, your bra strap is true. Yes, Peter, but I... You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> attention the way you used to <sighs> maybe i have been taking you for granted but i promise i'll make it up to you i'll be the best husband ever mrs lipstein i have bad news the tumor is malignant i'm afraid you only have six months to live oh my god got milk hey let me never visits us well kids your grandfather has never been comfortable with the fact that i'm not catholic <laughs> Finally spend some time together. I want us to have one of those father-son moments, like on TV. You know, where we hug and the music goes, la, la, la. Thanks, boys. Just like that. Mom, I can't eat. I'm too grossed out by Grandpa's ears. I know. They're like a big gray enchanted forest. Kids, your grandfather's ears are not gross. At mass this morning, it occurred to me that I may never see any of your faces again. I just want to say that Ocean's in Las Vegas. Hit me, you five card stud. <laughs> Cocktail! Aye, she's a rose. It's a pity you couldn't find yourself a. You're a good woman, Lois. Perhaps you won't burn in hell after all. Maybe you just go to purgatory with all the unbaptized babies. Hey, there you go, Lois. You love kids. God told Abraham to kill Isaac. <laughs> Hey! Uh, yes, we, we all enjoy the Bible in this house. Really? What's your favorite book in the Bible? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, the one where Jesus swallows the puzzle piece and the man in a big yellow hat has to take it on an But God's watching. Don't do it again. God's watching me do number two? Oh, man, I'm a sinner and God's a pervert. <laughs> Not a bad way to kick off your retirement, huh, Dad? <laughs> yeah, the magic of baseball has brought fathers and sons together for millions of years. Uh, hey, hey, hot dog guy. I'll get him. Oh, no, no, Dad, they bring him to you. Well, la -dee da I don't need my food brought to me. I'm not a broken down old mule. I can still work. I can still... Tonight, in preparation for a visit from the Pope. That's right, Diane. And I'll tell you what else will be examined. This cock. Yes, the Rhode Island Cock Society will be sponsoring free checkups for this year's Cock Awareness Week. God! Yeah, it seems he broke into the old mill after hours. We found him working at a kick press. Dad, you left a ball game with me to go work in a mill? Yes, I want to work. I want my job back. Help bonding. It even worked for Rosie O'Donnell and his father in a league of their own. Peter, I hate to say this, but it doesn't seem like your dad is interested in bonding with you. All he cares about is work. Or you could just get your father a job with you at the toy factory. That's an even better idea. Lois, you're a genius. And I give me a hug before I give you a knuckle sandwich. A pack of smokes in his torn denim jacket. <coughs> Any of you kids want to see a dead body? Oh, I, I wait here, Dad. Hey, uh, Mr. Weed? Pete, I've never seen such productivity. How is this possible? I'll tell you how it's possible. Because this man always put his job before everything else. His wife, his health, even his own son. Especially his... I have a purpose in life again. Hey! Oh, break up the sewing circle and get back to work! Why do you all eat lunch? Lois, lunch is a sin. Taking a break is a sin. Bestiality is a sin. I'm not sure how that came up exactly, but me me and Dad have never been close yet. Having him a tough break there, Jesus. Yep. Or was it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Booyah! Back to work, all of you. Oh, no. What's going on here? Uh, Dad? Say about you. Oh, Peter, 
You've never spoken to me like that before. Yeah, fired. Oh. Well, in that case, I'm suing you. With your shower. The water's not cold enough. I like me showers colder than a world digger's kerfluffin'. I think it's time someone sits his kerfluffin' down and has a talk with his unemployed son. If Peter needs... Al Capone, John Wilkes Booth? Hey, wh wh what are you doing here? I killed the hooker. She made a crack about me being faster than a speeding bullet, so I ripped her in half like a phone book. Here's the fa Well, the moment has arrived at last. We now go live to Logan International Airport, where the Pope's plane has just touched down. Hello, Boston! Are you ready to hump? Hey, I just got a crazy idea. Ha! Why? 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 Hey, I just got another crazy idea. All right, wise guy, who are you? Look, I'm, I'm just a faithful Catholic man with a family crisis that only His Holiness can resolve. I've never asked the church for anything, but I don't know where else to turn. I always wake up feeling fine, but it's just so darned inconvenient to be knocked out that easily. Even by the slightest tap. Like this. Are you sure this is Boston? Yeah, it's Boston. See, look, there's Harvard. That's just a barn. Ooh, someone went to Yale. Lois, put the... The Pope? Peter, this...